finally guys a free event item that I'm sure most of us have been waiting for for quite a while now has been released. You guys know the Roblox Dave and Busters events right? It was a bit disappointing when it released because there wasn't really much free stuff. However one of the decent items that we've all been patient for is finally here and we can get it for free. Yeah I'm talking about this thing the soda drinking hat. I really like this. I don't know why it took them so long to add this to the game but yeah for a free Roblox accessory I think this is really nice. It kind of reminds me of that like classic Roblox hat with the Bloxy Colas on it. Right eyes Bloxy Cola cap something like that. So if you guys want the free version of this it's kind of like uh, slush puppies or something instead of soda. It still says soda in the title but yeah that drink kind of looks like a slushy or something. Anyway like I was saying if you want it it looks really good. This is like a really decent free item. Then yeah let me show you how to get it. It's from the Dave and Busters event. They've had a new update, a zombie update, and they finally added in the final map, which is called the Misty Forest. Now, what I would recommend doing, guys, to get this is actually making a free VIP server. You can do this on a public server if you want to, but it's just going to take so much longer. So go and create a free VIP server, and I will quickly show you how to get this. So let's jump into the game. Let's get started on the VIP server. The first thing you guys want to do is click to ready up, and what you want to do is choose a zombie survival map map. You can pretty much choose anyone to start off with. There is four in total. I've got the Metro Mayhem first. So obviously this one is in the Metro station, in a train station. It's pretty cool. I kind of like this mini game. The only thing I would say is it's a bit slow. Now this gameplay is like incredibly sped up. It does take a couple of minutes to play through. It would be nice if it was a lot faster, but it is what it is. We can't really change anything about that. I don't know if you guys have ever played a classic arcade game called, oh what was it called? House of the Dead, it might be something like that, but it really reminds me of that. It's pretty much like a classic shoot 'em up style game. You've got your crosshair on your screen, you aim it on the zombie, you click with your mouse, and it's paintball. So yeah, it's not bullets, it's you're shooting like paint at them. You can get upgrades like snipers, burst fire, all different types of stuff. You can also get like extra lives and stuff. So if zombies attack you and you lose a bit of health, you can shoot the lives and shields and stuff and get them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the first map I ended up playing. You guys might play a different one first of all but this one was relatively easy I didn't really have any problems with this so now that's done let's go on to the next one which is zombie survival deserted mansion now straight away this one was a little bit more difficult I don't really know why I guess some of them are just slightly harder than others but yeah as I was saying oh one thing I'd note though try and aim for the zombie heads because if you get a headshot I'm pretty sure it kills them off like a bit faster so that's definitely something to take notice actually this map kind of reminds me of the the Haunted Mansion from Disneyland. I don't know if you guys have ever been on that ride. I can clearly see they took inspiration from the wallpaper and the whole like, you know, aesthetic of the map. This right here, this is like the boss zombie of the round. So this guy required a lot of headshots. I thought I was going to die, but I just took him out and that was it. Oh, now we're playing the new map, Zombie Survival Misty Forest. I'm excited to check this one out. So let's go and wait for it to load. And here we are loading into the game. So they added this just today, I guess. I think it was like a few minutes ago at the time of recording in this video. So this map's kind of cool. It's got like the zombies coming out of the ground, kind of like a zombie apocalypse kind of thing. They're running towards you. You've got to shoot all of them. Actually, this one was very difficult. I thought I almost died here because suddenly I got ambushed by zombies and I almost lost like half of my health, which is not really good. But luckily I was able to just carry on shooting the zombies. I got a few better upgrades on my guns and yeah, I was able to get some health as well. Oh, the thing about the upgrades is they do expire. So your basic one that's got like infinite paintball bullet ammo. Sometimes when you get the other ones, like the spread shot or the sniper shots, they do run out fairly quickly, so keep that in mind. There's quite a few arcade games like this. I haven't been to an arcade in years, so actually, no, I have. I just don't think I noticed one of these games. Yeah, these games not in arcades anymore. Maybe it was more of like an early 2000s thing. I used to remember playing these sorts of things at gas stations when I was like four or something. Even though the games were 18 plus, but whatever. I thought they were cool, so that's this map now done. So to get the final map, because yeah, there is four in total, if it doesn't come up straight away you can click to ready and if you just unready you should be able to refresh it and then the new map should appear so just do this a few times the final one for me was zombie survival office escape and this one was just kind of normal really i didn't have any problems with it it was pretty basic again you just sort of 
click on the zombies heads and shoot them try and get better paintball guns try and like get shields and lives and stuff like that there was something very good on this map there's like these barrels and if you shoot them they explode and kill like a ton of zombies at the same time so if you're able to time that right you can get quite a lot of kills one thing that's sad about these though is you can't move around i think that would be really nice if we could like tilt the camera or maybe see the gun on the screen that would just improve it a bit but to be fair this whole like dave and busters event was really basic i did see quite a few people complaining about it also the fact creekcraft got his own item in this event and it never got released it just got abandoned i think that's a shame right for them to make an item based off a youtuber because everyone was hyping this up everyone saw this event and they thought oh this is going to be cool but when it got released it was just like really really bad to be honest but yeah i'm nearly done on the um office map now so just playing a few more on this one i did notice there was like a few more um, boss type characters and a few more heavy characters they take a lot more hits but there we are just coming to the end you sort of go in this lift then there's like another boss guy and that is basically it after completing this guys you should get the badge it should also come up saying you've been given the soda hat and that's it we're now done that is how you get this item for free play your four maps it's very easy and as we always do in all my event videos we check we got the item so this time we definitely got it the soda drinking hat and that is everything so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like subscribe cheers for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one